Okay, folks, so I needed to change the scenery. So I am now sitting on the floor just because I needed a new spot. You can see the moose behind me on the couch. It's very exciting. I have a big thing for moose, so I have moose in this room all over. Anyway, so today we're going to start talking about the first part of our very next very exciting state lab. It is called Beaks of Inches. Uh, you will find this attached to this activity on your Google Classroom. Um, and the Beaks of Inches lab is a state lab. But I happen to have, so you know how the state labs always kind of look like this? Yeah, they do. But I happen to have this one in a document form, which is nice because then I can post it to the classroom and you guys can write right on it. So it's pretty much the same thing. It might be slightly different, but it'll be good enough. Um, so it says, on the Galapagos Islands, you don't need to see my face for now. On the Galapagos Islands off the coast of South America, Charles Darwin collected and observed numerous species of ground finch. They were very similar, but each was adapted to catch food in a slightly different way due to their shape, due to the shape and size of their beak. So pictures right there. <clears throat> some people, some species, some people, some species had thick, sturdy bills for cracking open tough seeds, and others had slender bills for catching insects. All of the fi finches on the Galapagos resembled a finch that lives on the South American mainland. Darwin used the finches to, as evidence for evolution and hypothesized that a small finch population migrated to the Galapagos and adapted to its new home over many generations. The great variety of beak adaptation pr present on the Galapagos is thought to be due to the isolation of bird populations on the islands with different kinds and amounts of food. The Galapagos is a harsh environment which is plagued by constant changes in food supply of the source. <clears throat> I'm sorry, some of the source. That's why this picture got scooched over. Some of the sources of food for the finches include both insects, both wood dwelling and those that live in the open, plants, seeds, and cacti. Some natural variation in beak size and shape existed in the original population of finches that moved to the Galapagos. Different beaks were selected for due for diff to due to different food sources. During ongoing competition for resources, some finches are successful and become more numerous, while less successful finches decrease by num in number. Currently, 13 species of finch live in the Galap on the Galapagos Islands all with their own beak shape and ecological niche. The niche of an organism is its job or its role in the environment. Organisms try to occupy different niches to reduce competition. Environmental conditions like food, predators, disease, act as selecting agents because they select organisms with the most beneficial traits to become the parents of the next generation. Within a species, individuals with variations or differences that make them better adapted to their environment will survive and reproduce in greater numbers than those without such adaptations. Observations have shown that the offspring of better adapted individuals may inherit many of their parents' favorable variations. If you go down to the next page, there's another picture here. This picture is um, what we call a cladogram or a food, nope, not a food, sorry, or a... Um, evolutionary tree. So you can see at the bottom, the ancestral seed eaters are the ones that um, are probably at this point extinct, but they have evolved into these different organisms as time has gone on. Remember when you're reading the, the evolutionary tree, this bottom part where it's the uh, smallest is the furthest back in time. And if you were to draw a line straight up the side, it would be going toward present time. Now, I would bet that all of these guys that are at the ends of the lines would all be alive in present time. So this one's kind of more being drawn as a web than a straight line. Um, but basically, the one original seed eaters gave way to all of these different guys, ground finches, tree finches, warbler-like finches, so on and so forth. Seed eaters are considered, seeds come from plants, so seed eaters are absolutely considered plant eaters. Okay. In this lab activity, you will work with different tools that will serve to model finch beaks. The seeds, <clears throat> excuse me, the seeds represent finch food in a particular island. You will compete with other finches, which are students, 
and to see which beak or tool is best adapted for obtaining a specific food. I am hoping that we'll be able to do this when we go back to school, but I am going to make Jen compete with me just for fun. Um, so the objectives here are to learn how the structural differences may affect the survival rate of members within a species. Uh, also to simulate competition for resources among different species of organisms and understand how the environment acts as a selecting agent. So the things you're going to need is you're going to end up with a tool, um, and we'll talk about that in a second. You're also going to have um, a couple different plates, petri dishes, and some large seeds and some small seeds. I'm going to show you what those look like. Um, safety, I promise not to throw any seeds at Jen or poke her with the tool. Hopefully you will promise to do the same thing. So let's see my face again. Okay. Move that over. Hi, welcome back. So it says examine the different tools or beaks provided. I'm going to show you the different tools that I have. Oh, and then you can decide which ones you think will be the most or the least successful. So the first one we have here, this is what I would call the, what do I call these? These are salad tongs. They're really big. See how big they are? Um, and they are pinchy when the square rolls down. These are called salad tongs. Oh boy, dog intervention. Hi, Koopy. Hi. Thank you. Okay, so those are the salad tongs. Then we have what I like to call the hot dog tongs. Okay, these ones you open and close yourself. Then we have, this one's real fun, chopsticks. You have to open and close these yourself. Then we have what I call the chip clip. So there's that. We have, these are called beaker tongs. So they're to pick up hot beakers. You just kind of wrap your tongs around the beaker to pick them up, and they have rubber on them, so it makes them a little bit grippier on the glass beakers than if they were just the metal. I think they would be a little slippery. These ones we call the rubber tongs. They just have rubber tips to them. They have a little thing that holds them closed. If you push it down, they automatically open. We did that, we did that. Let's see, we got the pliers. And last but not least, our old favorite friend from the Making Connections Lab, the clothespin. Um, I have a huge bucket of other different squeezy things, uh, but I decided to kind of keep it simple here, as simple as I could for this recording so that we can make some predictions. So, I don't know if you probably can't see what's on the couch anymore, but let's see. So question 1A says, predict which beak will be the most successful at picking up small seeds. So here is a view of what we've got going on. I think that's all of them. Go back one more time so you can see them. Got salad tongs. We got the hot dog tongs. We got chopsticks. Got the chip clip. We've got the rubber tongs, the beaker tongs, the clothespin and the pliers. So which one do you think will be most successful at picking up small seeds? You're probably sitting there going, well, what are the small seeds? What do they look like? They look like this. They are, um, these are rosados. Okay, so they look like this. They're little, small beans. Okay, so which one do you think will be the best at picking that up? The next question, letter B, which predict which beak will be the least successful at picking up small seeds. One seed at a time, so you can't be a cheater. Um, you don't have to record. I didn't give them numbers, so don't worry about the numbers. So go ahead and write down which one you think will be the least successful. Okay. Number two, you and your partner, it's going to be me and Jen on the camera. You and your partner will 
model of finch feeding. You'll randomly choose from a hat. I'm gonna let Jen pick because I'm gonna kick her butt anyway. So I'm just gonna let her pick what tool she wants and then I'll pick what tool I want and then I'm gonna kick her butt. It's gonna be great. Um, and then we will, you're supposed to draw the tool. Obviously I'm not gonna ask you to draw the tool digitally. If you want to search the tool, you could search, um, 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 I don't know, hot dog tongs? I bet you nothing comes up. Hot dog tongs. Image. Uh, do, 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 do. Here, there, here you go. So you could copy that. And now I'm on Amazon accidentally. Hold on. And you could copy and paste that. Uh, somehow, I can't seem to get it to work. But any old one that looks like it, if you want to do that, you don't have to. It's not a big deal. You can leave that blank too. So then you're going to get um, paper plates. Jen and I will use paper plates. And we will use petri dishes or some other sort of small dish that I have around my house. Maybe just another paper plate, depending on what I end up with. Um, and we will fight to the death. Well, maybe not yet, but we will eventually. It's going to be great. Um, so we're going to stop there and then we'll pick it up, uh, at round one shortly. All right. So we are on to part one or round one of the Beaks of Finches lab. I have at least one of my trusty helpers here, Cooper. Uh, I also have Jen who's going to be helping me out. Hi, Jen. Hi. And Harper is sniffing around the tool bucket. That's okay. I'm sure she'll be back. Um, so in the last clip, I showed you all the different tools that we have. Um, we are on this part of the lab here, part one. Remember, I had said I was going to let Jen choose. So, Jen, here's what we're going to do. We need... We're going to be feeding on seeds. So the goal is to get as many seeds from the food source into your bird belly as possible in 30 seconds. Okay. Hi, Harvey. You're very helpful. Thank you. Um, so you get to pick which tool you think will be the best at doing that. Go ahead and pick a tool, and then I'll pick a tool. And then uh, I told them I was going to kick your butt. And these are the seeds, by the way. I'm trying to get as many as I can. <clears throat> yep, get out of here. Go find them. Nope, not for you. Thank you. Is that your tool? I think so. Oh, she took my tool! Ah! God! I'm going to win. All right. Now i got to rethink this whole thing. All right, I'm going to go for it. That was the original one you I was looking at. can't go at. wrong with the clothespin. You all know. Can't go wrong with the clothespin. All right, so I am going to tilt this down so you can see our situation here. Ooh, that's good. The light. Koopy, good job. Stay right there. So we have our bird belly with our little seeds in it. Uh, or I'm sorry, the food source with the little seeds in it. I have a bird belly. Jen has a bird belly. One seed at a time. 30 seconds. Round one, you get to go by yourself. There's no competition. So you just get to go by yourself. So I'm going to set a timer. That's my calculator. Hold on. I'm going to set a timer for 30 seconds. And Jen, you can go first if you'd like. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay, go. One at a time. Oh. Did you not hear me say one at a time? I oh, wasn't listening. Start over. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't listen, people. We know. This is what happens. You're all familiar with not listening. I know you are. All right. Let's try again. Reset the timer. Are you really ready this I'm time? I'm really ready. Okay. Go. There she goes. Look at the belly. I was like, wait a second. How does she have 40 seeds in there already? Cheater. Fifteen oh, seconds. That was two. Sorry. All right. It's all right. We'll allow it. Two. One. Mm. All right. Timer didn't, like, do anything, but... There we go. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so in the lab, if we were really doing the lab, we would put for partner one, trial one, fourteen. So, Jen, would you like to go a second time, or would you like me to go once? You can go once. Okay, so I will go. Let's see how I do. Empty, dump, your, dump, dump, empty dump. your bird bellies, yep. Get my tool. And go. I hope you don't win. 
terrible. You might win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was a bad choice. Can I pick a new tool? It makes you feel better. That was the original tool I was thinking There's of. one. I got one. I'm so going to get extinct. Two. Did you really get 14? I did. She cheated. She cheated, right, guys? I don't cheat. Three. Well, you stole my tool, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, going extinct right Time. here. Yeah. In life. Okay, well, so, you know, what are you going to do? I got three. <laughs> so I will be putting, actually, I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put three down here. We're doing this a little bit differently because I'm partnered two. Okay. Switch so, tools or no? Nope, same tool. You, okay. That is your beak. Okay. Uh, to my knowledge, birds cannot change their beak. So you are stuck with that beak and I am stuck with mine. All right, are you ready? Yep. Time two. We're and doing it together or no? Nope, this okay. is still round one, so you're on your own. Okay. Go. Again. All right, show off. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eight. How many fifteen. Turn off. Wait, let me double check. I think fifteen now. Okay. <laughs> Jen thinks. Ten. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. Here we go. Fifteen in the thingy. All right, and then I'm gonna go again and not to do very. Harper's poking my butt with her paw. Ready? No, but... Okay, ready? Go. They're slippery. I don't like it. Already beat my last score, just so you know. Already beat it. Crushing it here, people. Need ones that are higher. Two. Let me get one more. Yeah, I got Fine. it. All right. I got way more than three that time. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Much better. Still not good, but much better. All right. So now, for the second round, we are going to compete. That means we're going to feed at the same time. Um, and we're going to, we'll probably just do it twice and we'll just record all of our data. Um, okay, round two, competition. Ready? Go. Come on. Harper's poking me in the butt. <laughs> Come on. My yeah. beak is too big. Yeah, that's my problem too, definitely. <laughs> Three seconds. Stupid thing. I don't know why the timer won't go off. All right. One, two, two, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I'm going to write seven for mine for partner two. Fifteen again. And Jen got fifteen. I'm going to go extinct, just so you know. Definitely <laughs> extinct. Pay attention, Barton. Pay attention. Okay, ready? Yep. Start the timer. Go. Literally, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> it's so much easier. <laughs> Carpet is easier. Gotta lay flyers. Six seconds. And time. <clears throat> Not as good. It's alright. It's my fault. Two, four, six, eight. Mm -hmm. 
Ten. Ten. Fourteen. I got ten. Ten. No, that's a, no, that a zero. And you said fourteen? Yep. Fourteen. All right. So now, let's say that uh, I did pretty poorly, right? So I, as a bird, would have been outcompeted. Jen would survive on this small seed island, and I would migrate. Is there another plate over there? Yep. Can you hand me the bigger seeds back there, too? Oh, okay. Thank you. I would have to migrate to a smaller or a bigger seed island, and maybe I could survive better on the bigger seed island. Because maybe I can feed better on bigger seeds I broke that rubber band, than I can on little seeds. So we're going to try that. And Jen can try it too, but really, Jen didn't have to migrate, so she doesn't really have to. But we can see if in 30 seconds, just once, I can get more than I did before. Because holy cow, if I was a bird, I was definitely going to go hungry here. <clears throat> okay, ready? And this would be kind of round three, but round three would end up being um, each of us on a separate island. So Jen would be on the original island with small seeds, and I would be on a new island with larger seeds. So we're just kind of goofing around right now. Let's see how it works. All right, ready? Yep. Yep. Oh, my God, this is so much easier. Sort of. <laughs> I still need them to be, like, standing up sideways so I can get a good grip on them. No such thing. Oh, this bird's gonna die, for sure. Dead bird. It's all because Jen took my tool. Ten seconds. I would've kicked your butt if she didn't take my tool. I shouldn't have let her pick. I was being too nice. Okay. Lost. Well, again. <laughs> Update. Still a loser. It's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I still got seven. Should I count or no? You don't have to bother because she beat me. So, you know. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your help. All right. So that is the data collection portion of this lab. Uh, and we will be back with the end of this lab soon.